Hello everybody, welcome back to Skyrim. In the last episode, we managed to clear out uh, the Swindler's Den and destroy Kamatu, so the Alkir warrior who's after Sadia. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to just sleep first <laughs> and then we're going to head up north in order to retrieve the horn of uh, Jürgen Wind Collar. Okay. So I'm going to um, go north. This way. So I was almost going east there. That's back to White Run. Okay, so um, I hope everybody is doing fine. Enjoying yourselves. And being productive and healthy. That's always good. Okay, cool. Um, so there's really nothing uh, much to see while I'm running out there so I'm just going to fast forward until there's something that's interesting and I'll see you guys in a bit whoa 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 what's going on holy crap this is what I want uh Huh, it looks like we have ourselves a mystery right here. It looks like this uh, ghost, uh, the so called subjugated ghosts, have. They, they don't want to do this? Oh. Ouch. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry? I want to do this. yeah, I know. Oh, uh... well, guys, looks like we have a mini adventure going on here, so why don't we go try to see if we can help these guys, huh? If I'm sorry. That's that's if I survive this. <laughs> okay, let's sneak. Okay, quietly now. Oh crap! Hell, there's a dragon up there. Come on. What is going on? Hmm. Okay. Okay, cool. Run Vix fast. Huh? Let's go. What the This place is so creepy. Let's hope that um, everything's going to be okay in here. This is very, very spooky. Is someone there? Ah. I don't have to go. Okay, I clicked on the wrong mouse button. I don't have any choice. I'm sorry. Okay, it's all right. See what's over here. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Hmm. What is going on in this place? I don't know. I guess we will find out. seen anything quite like that. Yeah, I know. There's a guy there. Stay away! I don't have any choice. I'm sorry. I don't have any choice. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I don't have any choice. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. What's going on? I'm sorry. This isn't what I... I know this isn't what you want, that's what you've been saying the whole time. 
So why don't you kind of tell me what's going on, huh? Well, even the droggers are dead. And I sense some necromancy going on here. Excuse me. <laughs> Man. Oh! Ah. Oh, yes. Yes! You've fallen for my trap! Screw you! It's a great lure. Odd you didn't die from the fall, though. Most do. But don't mind my assistant here. He may have seen better days, but he's still more help to me dead than he was alive. Alright, let's see if we have something Sheep. here to end this as quickly. Oh, man. Well, luckily you got the key right there, so... Relatively painless. Someone there. Yeah, I'm here. Screw you. Who's? You can't be. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Someone else is there, by the way. Who's there? Poor guy, what is he doing? Have you seen him walls? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Ooh, unusual gem. Okay, I guess I have his journal. The fourth of Evening Star AE200. It never ceases to amaze me how many fall for my simple trap. Like me, uh I may have to consider tweaking it a bit, though many of them in recent months have been dying the second they hit the cage floor. Putting a foot or two of water in didn't help either. It's called gravity, dude. In fact, it may actually be making things worse. The last uh, one to fall broke both his arms and legs. He proceeded to float there and eventually drowned. If it weren't for the water, I would have had a great time twisting his mind until I decided to end him. 8th of Evening Star AE200 Captured another one, finally. It's definitely true that whatever these orcs gain in size and strength, they lose in mental capacity. I'm amazed they, ha they can even speak. They kept saying that when he gets out, he'll break me in half like a twig. Persuasive, isn't he? Anyway, I told him that if he holds his head under the water for as long as his, uh, as this candlewick lasts, I'll let him go for free. Stupid thing drowned within minutes. Oh man, that's really stupid. <laughs> I never tire of this. 13th of Evening Star AE200. I haven't captured a soul for days. The last victim died on impact. Of course, I was still able to reclaim his soul, but without the thrill of killing or any kind of torture, the process lacks that special something. The reclaimed souls have I've summoned make this decent targets, but taking a mortal's life is so much more sweet. This guy is sick. Ooh, nice. Mage light. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Alright. Mitch not. Hmm. Let's see what we got here and let's find our way back up. I really want to get that um, word. Okay, let's uh, let's not. Nope, you didn't see me. What? 
That's right. I was not there. Sneak attack on this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you saw. Okay. Let's see here. Um, is this back up? Am I back? Yeah. Jeez, I totally did not notice that so bad. And the chest is empty as well, my gosh. Huh? Ooh, kind space. Is that my second word? Yeah, that's right. Oh no! Drop that down. Take that. Some money. Hmm, poor guys. I'm gonna remember that there's a there's a wood elf here. I'm gonna need that for a certain quest much later in the game. <laughs> You know, I'm just gonna do some sneaky sneak up here. Stay back. This isn't what I want. Poor guys, man. I hope by um, killing them, I'm actually releasing them from their spell. Huh? Wait a minute, how do I get to that chest there? Ow! Yeah, ow, your ass! Uh, don't get in my way! Okay, and I'm done. <laughs> cool. So I guess that um that craziest uh, conjurer dude is actually just happily um, stealing and controlling the souls of these poor people. Gosh, what a butt. I'm just moving over here so that I can continue on my journey. How do I get? Hmm. You know what? You know what? Let's... Let's tackle this dragon here. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> Oh, sleep. So scary. Okay. Oh, safe. I'm gonna do this first. Oh, 
up there. Okay. Face that dragon. Yeah! Come on! Do you! Come at me! Oops. Oh. Ha! Stunned you. Get back down here. Sky lizard. Yep. Boost. Go. Yeah, now you pay. Come on! Come on! Who's bro? Face me! Yeah! Follow. Whew, that was great. Okay, let's see what shouts. Uh, we okay, do this one first. I'm gonna level up my sneak. I still cannot do that, so it's fine. Let's do destruction. <laughs> I'm liking that destruction. Augmented shock. There we go. Awesome. Whew, that's awesome. Okay. Okay, where am I? Oh, I'm here. 
Okay, let's head up. Let's go in. That was awesome. <laughs> Destroying that dragon. Oh my god. So exciting. Okay, let's try to safely make our way through here. Uh, these guys would need flames. So, huh, I kind of regret not having uh, my build as an assassin. I'm kind of an assassin me, but I, I, I miss being able to just snipe uh, enemies from a long distance. Man, that's so satisfying. That was like, um, in my very first playthrough I play as a Kashi assassin, I tell you I could have struck that troll from that far away without being detected. They never saw me coming. And when I was playing um, Fallout New Vegas, I, uh, I primarily played as a sniper, so I would carry a sniper rifle and hide out at the top of the hill and just destroy all of the Legion uh, um, people, the people of that, that, that were part of the Legion, to destroy them. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So I don't know, I think maybe I want to um, change my... Uh, is that a heart? What the hell? Okay. I don't know, I was thinking that maybe I like, want to change my, um, my player class. Uh, but maybe not. I'll stick to this. See how. See where it leads. Oh man, I now wish I wish that I carry my um, pickaxe around so that I can get all these minerals. Nice. Okay, so we're well on our way to more felt. Oh, what is up there? Oh, that's to the dragon's lair, I think. Okay, not gonna get get up there. Gonna instead head downwards. Just down the mountain. Into the city. Yeah. Who's there? I hope those are not bandits. Just, just in case. Is that a bandit? Ooh, nice. Got an orcish dagger. What's the damage? What's the damage of mine? My nettle being same. I've been hunting and fishing okay. in these parts. Okay, hunter. Years. Goodness. I was about to stab him in the back if he was some sort of. Bandit. Anyway, <laughs> let's carry on. Oh, hey. Oh, okay, well, that, that's unusual. Why do we have two saber cats just dead out here like that? And the fox running around. Oh, snip, who's over there? What's that? I don't know. Okay, let's head down here. Gotta be careful here. Gonna have to be careful. Mm, don't want any trouble. Oh, I'm so close to town, I think. Uh, I might have gone the wrong way, I don't know. Oh no, yeah, the path is here. And have gone the right way. Okay. And we're here. Welcome to Morthal. I've been looking for you. 
Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Oh. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right, thanks. I wonder how this guy always managed to find me. <laughs> okay, I got a letter from Yao Sidgear of Falkreath. Zilius, allow me to introduce myself. My name is uh, Sidgear, and I have the honor to be the Yao of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane or Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me in the next time you are in Falkreath. Aside from the honour that uh, accrues to the title, my Thanes are entitled to a personal house cow. Cool. I also can tell you privately that a choice parcel of land and Falkreath would be available for your purchase should your services prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person. I remain Yao Sitgar of Falkreath. Ah, that's pretty interesting. I guess we'll be visiting there What's if the we Yarl pass by. Going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. We'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. Oh, we've no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to a den. <laughs> What's going on? I'm the best warrior in Morthal, and that's no boast. Best warrior, huh? You want me to prove it? I bet a hundred gold I can take you, barehanded. Uh, I don't know about that, but you're all Just your own two hands. Oh. Weapons and magic are out. Now let's see what you got. Come on, let's see what you're made of. That's all you got. Yeah, it's all I got. Right in your face, Banner. Come on. That's it, almost dead. Yeah. Screw you! Huh. Huh. That was a punch. That's right. I think I've earned that 100 gold. You're a real fighter. I like that. You ever need my steel by your side? You just ask. Thanks. Cool. Hello. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. I'm just a poor man trying to make a living. I'd leave Mortal were it in my power. Oh. Mm -hmm. High Moon Hall. Let's see what we've got. Hello, Yao. So, life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. Hi, is there some kind of trouble here? That which is unknown can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. Some fear our new resident wizard. As they grow to know him, they will accept him. Time will prove me right. Ah, uh, okay, so where do you stand? I stand where I have always stood, here in Morthal. Now is not the time to fight amongst ourselves. I fear dark days approach, and all of Skyrim's strength will be needed. Okay. Until next time. You will not disrespect Jarl Idgrad while in this hall. Do we have an understanding? Uh, why would I disrespect It's no her? secret that Jarl Idgrad is different. It's also no secret that there are rumors about her and her visions. I won't repeat them, and I won't allow them to be spread under this roof. Now you go about your business. 
Mm, okay. Tamriel sure. is full of wisdom and magic if one is willing to look for it. Few have their eyes open. <laughs> yes? I speak and others hear. It is my hope that instead they listen. I understand you have some visions. The divines reveal things to me at times, yes. I do not hide this. It is a gift. Anyone who believes otherwise does not and cannot understand it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool, see ya. I do what I can to see that Idgrud's time isn't wasted, and that she only has to deal with important matters. So, what was all that argument outside? Ah, you saw that, did you? Life in Morthal has been troubled lately. The people are uncertain, restless, and merely look to the Jarl for leadership. Mm, what's wrong here? There's news of rebellion against the Empire. Strange noises have been heard in the marshes at night. And then, the tragedy with Rogar's home. The men simply seek wisdom. Everything will be fine. Oh, okay. It seems like a quiet little town. That's what many here wanted. A quiet life and a quiet place without the noise or the trouble of a city. Now some worry this wizard volume will foul it all up. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Cool. Let's see what we have. Can't take any of that. Okay, I, uh, I suppose it's time to go. Alright everyone, I guess uh, I've run out of time, so we have made it to Morthal. So uh, right nope. in the next Sorry. episode we will Nothing. be traveling to the... Um, well, we, we will be exploring the town and then we'll be traveling to complete the quest to get the horn of... I uh, forgot the guy's name. <laughs> Jürgen Windcaller. Here we go. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care now. Bye-bye.